guys, it's time to share my monthly favorites again and this month is for the month of June and first of all, please ignore my hair it's currently in a state of unrollingness I tried to brush it out this morning and I wasn't bothered to style it or anything so it has a bump here because I've been tying it up all week for work so today I'm just leaving it down so it can let the gravity do its work on getting rid of this little bump here so yeah, that's the set of my hair. First, we'll start off with the NARS eyeshadow primer. I started using this because um, after I start a full-time work, and usually my day consists of about 10 hours of my makeup being on, so I realized my eyeshadows isn't holding up. So by midday, my eyeshadows will crease, and when I come home, it will just literally be gone. So I wanted to give this one a try because Miss Glamorazzi has been saying that this is really great for oily skin, which I have. And I've been loving this because this has been keeping my eyeshadows on my lids without creasing or fading throughout the day. And it just makes my eyeshadows look really nice as well throughout the day. So I've been loving this. And also keeping in mind, I have tried the Urban Decay and the Too Faced um, eyeshadow primers. And this one beats them both, so I really like this one. And really recommend this for those who have really oily lids and so yeah so as some of you guys know when you start full-time work the time in the morning is very minimal and sometimes you forget one or two steps and perfume is usually one of those steps that I forget so I've got myself this little perfume thing it looks so much like a Traveler, but the price is a fraction I got this on eBay and I just searched um, perfume amortizer or um, perfume spray bottle thing. I'll um, link where I got it from below so you guys can have a look. Basically it just looks like this. It just looks so similar to a Traveler and how you put in the perfume is exactly the same. You pull out the top part of the perfume and you just pump it in. And here you can see how much perfume in there. But one thing I don't like about it is the spray nozzle. It like when you click it if you don't get the angle right it sprays out a really straight line so you can't get it in a wide surface area but if you get it right it, you can still get the spray misting feel so I guess that's one part that the Traveler might beat this saying that I love to try the Traveler but the price for me is a bit too expensive so I thought I'll give this a try since the price is pretty good and it does the same job sticking with the full time theme I've been coming back to my Bobbi Brown Corretta and my one is in Light Bisque. Looks like this. So as many of you guys know, and I said before, after you start full time you might have a lack of sleep and so my dark circles has been getting um, pretty out of hand. So I came back to this Bobbi Brown Corretta because my other concealers or correctors hasn't been doing a great job on my dark circles. So that's my next favourite. Next up we have Stila Kitten and this is one of the most rave about eyeshadows in the Stila range and it just looks like this. You can't really see this on the hand but this is a champagne shade with a touch of peach so as you can see in the pan it's a bit um, peachy. So when you have it on the eyes it doesn't look too harsh that it's like stark champagne shade. So I've been loving this, but I will say if you have a good champagne um, eyeshadow range already, I wouldn't go out running to get this because this is still quite similar. It just has a smidge of um, peach shade in this. But if you're in the market for a champagne shade, I recommend this Stila Kitten. So that's it there. And I've been wearing this on the inner corners of my eyes and also a bit on the inner third of the lower lash line to just brighten up the eye area. This is the last beauty product and is Benefits High Beam. Looks like this and my one is in a sample size because I got it in my Snow White and the Huntsman Benefit collection or set. And looks like this. And that's it swatched. This is a very nice pearly highlight with a pink undertone. I've been loving this because this doesn't have the glittery look on the skin. It just have a very nice pearly sheen on where you apply it. And it just blends so well into the skin. It doesn't look like, oh, you have highlight there. But it just, it just have that, I don't know, healthy look. 
that's what I'm trying to get. This is my last beauty favorite. My skincare favorite or my hand favorite is this, the Garnier Hand Cream Intensive 7 Day Protecting Hand Cream and this is the one for normal to dry hands and it's the aloe vera one. The main thing that attracts me to hand cream is the smell. Most of the time I give up on hand creams or just put it away because the smell is just too overpowering for me. And for this one, I love the smell for this one. It just smells so fresh and it smells kind of planty but not herbally. It just smells very fresh and planty. And I've been loving this. Usually when I apply it, I apply two layers. So first I'll squirt one out and then apply all over the hand and maybe wait for a few seconds for it to um, to for it to soak in and then apply another dot and apply it again and that just makes the moisture sink in. As you guys know, I love the Garnier body range and I think they did a really good job on the hand range as well. The price is really affordable. I think I got this for about $4 when it was on sale in Priceline. So that's another plus. My next favorite is my phone. And as some of you guys know, I got the um, Samsung Galaxy S3. My contract was ending, so I thought, might as well get a new phone. And my favorite app, or the app I'm addicted to now, is Instagram. I constantly look at it. Oh, there's Bubby's dog. And that's that heart's um, arm candy. Looks so nice, eh? Yeah, but it's reflecting from the back. But this is my favorite app at the moment. Being addicted to Instagram. So if you guys have Instagram, add me. Um, I guess my name is the same, BeautyXBB. And if you guys know any awesome Instagram users, um, list them below in the comment section. If you guys are wondering, this is my first above the knuckle ring. It's just a really simple love heart and it's actually a toe ring but um, I hardly wear toe rings so I pulled it out again and it was tarnished that first and so I have to polish it and everything to get it back in shape and I'm thinking about getting another one I, I got my eyes on a rose gold one and it's a heart too but inside it has the peace sign so I think I'm gonna go grab that one if I can find it in stores today and my very last item favorite is this little owl badge. I think I had this owl badge for about two months already and I've been just forgetting to show you guys here. But I've shown plenty of this little guy on Instagram or girl because he has a little bow here. And I think it's the cutest thing. I've been wearing this little owl on every outfit I have. So today I have it here. I just took it off for you guys. And I think it's the cutest little owl. So it's my favorite badge now. And I'm never taking it off because it's so cute. One last thing is something I like to do during my skincare routine. And that's patting my chin. And as you guys can see in the video, I'm not the skinniest girl in the world. I'm actually quite chubby. So short and chubby stubby. And I have kind of a double chin, which I really don't like. So what I've been doing is just patting it because I think if I pat it, I might get rid of the water retention or whatever it's down there. And I think it's kind of working because it's not that noticeable anymore, but it's still there. So that's a little extra step I added into my skincare routine. Last favorite I'm gonna talk about is my favorite YouTuber of the month, and that's Etsy Button. Um, do check her channels out. She's really really awesome. She's hilarious. She has all these different accents that she does during her videos Her personality is just so attractive for me. She's like my girl crush She and she has the most beautiful skin. She has blue eyes beautiful skin and Really nice brunette hair and I don't know. I'm just so attracted to her I have to watch her videos every day and I read her blog during the day when I'm at work and I'm bored so do check her channel out. I'll list it down below. When you're there, go tell her um, Beauty XBB sent you. And if you enjoy her, subscribe to her as well because she's really awesome. So that's all of my June favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.